Hello everyone and I welcome you all to our DSC series and in this video we are going to start a new topic uh, we are going to learn about a new data structure called stack alright so as we discussed before data structures are basically uh, structures used to uh, store uh, data like arrays and linked lists which we have already covered and in this video uh, uh, in this video, uh, video, we are going to learn about a uh, stack data structure. All right. So, okay, yeah. So, a stack data structure is basically a linear data structure which follows the leaf order. All right. So, you might be wondering what is a what is leafo? So, uh, leafo means last in, first out. Right. Cool. So, uh, stack is basically a linear data structure that uh, follows the leaf order, which is last in, first out. All right. So, what does this exact basically means is uh, suppose this is my stack data structure uh, container, and suppose there is data here like zero, five. 10. Fifteen. All right. Four datas. And the container from this side is closed. All right. Closed. And you can only insert uh, elements from here. All right. So what we did here is we basically inserted 0 first, then 5, then 10, then 15. And suppose here I insert 20 as well. All right. So every number that is inserted is inserting at the top. All right. So that means 0 was the first number which we inserted, then 5, then 10, then 15, then 20. All right. So consider this as a uh, stack of plates, which you see in canteens. Like this is plate 1, this is plate 2, this is plate 3, this is plate 4. This plate 5. So we know that plate 5 is the last plate which was in uh, kept here. All right. And if you go uh, and uh, if you want to pick a plate, you uh, by common sense, you'll uh, pick the plate number 5. This one. You're not going to pick this plate. You're not going to pick this. This plate. You're going to pick the top plate. All right. Because that is that what uh, basically common sense is. Right. So what uh, does that mean the last in that means the fifth plate uh, was kept in the last was taken out first okay i'll again repeat what i said the fifth plate was kept in the last and is the first one to be taken out all right so the same thing goes with our data So basically this is our container, right? And here we can insert elements. So 20 is the last element which was inserted. And if I have to remove any element from this uh, stack here, so how can I do that? Uh, only I can remove the top element because the bottom is closed. So you cannot do anything from here. So I can only remove the top element. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, cool. So that's what we mean by last in and first out. Okay, great. Now, uh, there are like some functions, basic operations, which we do on stack. They are basically push, pop, top is empty. So push function uh, inserts an element on the top of the stack. All right pop function removes the element which is on the top of the stack the top element uh, the top function returns the uh, value of the top element and as empty tells whether the stack is empty or not all right okay let me give you uh, an example suppose this is my array uh, this is my data uh, stack stack data structure 5 10 
so how will i create this stack so let me write a pseudo code so you will understand like what is happening we'll implement everything in uh, later but here i'm just writing a pseudo code suppose i made a stack s all right so i'll just simply as dot push 10 here i'll do s dot push 20 here all right so this is what i did till now okay let's do it okay cool hmm. now if i want to remove this element 10 what will i write So I'll write s dot pop. It removes the top element. All right. And now if I write s dot top, what will I get? This one will clearly give me answer as five because this is the top element. All right. And okay. And if I write s dot pop again. And then I write s dot empty is empty is basically used in Java and s dot empty is used in uh, C++. All right. So after this pop function, our file will also get removed from here and we'll be left with the empty container. So if I write this function, this will return me true. All right. So this is what uh, we do in stack uh, data structure. All right. Hmm. So I guess that much is clear with you. Cool. Now, 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 now let's, uh, let's quickly talk about what would be the time complexities of all these functions. So all these functions time complexity would, would be O of one. That means they would take constant time to perform these uh, functions. All right. Okay, cool. Now uh, we'll uh, talk about how to implement a stack. Okay. So we implement stack by two uh, data structures. First is array. All right. And second is linked list. So in the next video, we'll be looking at how to implement a stack using an array and uh, in the further video, uh, we would be talking about how to implement a stack using linked list. So this was the basic introduction of uh, stack data structure. I hope this would be clear to you. Right. And we'd be talking more about stack in the upcoming videos. And thank you for watching this video. See you later.